Now let me tell you how this works. Let me tell you how this works. I don't care I uploaded another video today. Uh, let me tell you how this works. Here's the whole thing, right? There's a lot of waifus in anime, right? There's a lot of them that is important. There's a lot of them that is irrelevant. There's a lot of them that is in between things and honestly needs more attention if I'm being honest with you. There's a lot of them that I would personally like to clap. Majority, if not all waifus, well, not all waifus, but majority of waifus, I would clap. There is plenty of them. There is also plenty of them that I also consider to be more than just a likable person, but on a scale of a waifu level. There is also very small, very small amounts, but there has been more than one, very small amounts of characters who I deem wife material. Like straight up absolute wife material. It has been Sakura. It has been Madaka. And at that current moment in time, it is Konako. Why is this about to be a challenge though? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if you remember Kamikatsu and the anime that people are like, oh, this show is lazy as hell. This is the worst show of the season. F you and your take, all right? I don't care about you. What I do care about is this one blue ass, cute ass, Lolly having ass character. I don't know why. I, I actually, I think I do know why. I think I do understand why. She's stealing Konako's whole ass flow and being a robot about it. I think that's the reason why. I think so. I think my ass has been so deprived of Konako and her sexy ass ways and how she is to the point that when there's a Konako like character now, she, she can she can almost be equal to her. She's like somewhat rivaling Konako in a weird way, and it made me question things. Is she about to become another waifu? I don't want that. Mainly because I like Konako. She's good. She's been good to me. What is happening? I don't understand. This whole thing has been driving me crazy, and I don't understand because the way I see this character is exactly the way I see Konako. When I first started watching High School DxC, when I first saw her on the screen, in the first ever screen that she was available on, when it comes to the series, I loved her first moment when I saw her. That, that was the moment I was like, yeah, I don't care what her character is, I don't care anything about that, I just want to know, I just, I just want, I just want her. I just want her because she looks really good and she's perfect. She's the perfect woman, she's perfect for everything, I don't want to hear an excuse, I don't know what her personality is, but I think she's perfect by design. And as the series kind of continued on, I grew to love Konako way more than, you know, I thought I was going to in the beginning. But when it comes down to things, Konako has been literally part of my own damn branding in a way. She's literally been part of everything I've done, to the point it, it doesn't make any kind of sense, honestly. Konako to me, when it comes to any waifu in any show, is everything. She is tied right up there with Madaka in my personal opinion. I'm not gonna necessarily lie. Well, actually, Madaka is tied up with Konako. I should say that. Better yet, because Konako, I would pick first over Madaka, if I'm being perfectly honest. But I like Madaka as well. But now, now we have another player in the game, which is Atar. And I cannot tell you how much I think Atari is really cute. She's really damn cute. You wanna know why some people are lollicons? Because they think some of these characters are cute and damn boy is she. Like it's kinda, it's difficult. It's actually difficult. This is going to destroy me I think. This is actually going to destroy me. Usually if it becomes, you know, a, oh would you pick your waifu over this character? Or would you pick, a, you know, this character over her? Or something like that. Usually anytime that kind of happens, I'm like Konako all day. Konako every single day. Konako till infinity. That's kind of how I feel. And I still do feel that. But now it's like, it's slightly, it's like Atari slightly challenging that. It's like, it's, it's, she's slightly challenging that. And it's kind of crazy. I'm losing my mind as you can kind of hear. Because I don't necessarily know, is Konako good? Like, she is. She absolutely is. Ain't no way. I cannot shake that. No, she is. She's a part of the branding. She's a part of me. She's everything. She's good. But why is Atar so good though? You know? And then Yugito, he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. How dare you manipulate Atar like that? She literally lost everything. Everything that she served for, everything that she believed in, 
freaking gone. It's not good things that she believed in, but it's gone. How do you, how do you help her with that? No, you can tell like, oh, I feel you, I understand. Come eat this ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to get used here for some religious reasons so I can live an easier life. Head ass, head ass. When it comes down to things, Atara doesn't need to be used in that sort of way. She don't need to be used in that sort of way. No, she should be treated with respect. She should be treated with you know, kindness, hugs and head pats in the right type of way, not the manipulative type of way, which is some bullshit. Like, I actually hate him on the same level of Issei. It's starting to get to that point. I'm not necessarily going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Like, and I'm not even going to hold you. Like, it, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, with Atar, I, at this point, I'm kind of like... I'm gonna need someone to make her in Koikatsu now. I'm gonna need that. I'm actually gonna need that. Evan, I know you don't know me. I don't know you too much. Unfortunately, when it comes down to things, you make good ass models. Could you please make a tar? Please, for me, even though you don't necessarily know me, but still, I need her in Koikatsu like right now. Like, if there is a Kokatsu model of a tar, I ain't gonna necessarily lie. She is getting tossed into the Kokatsu story instantly instantly without any hesitation without any type of you know slight movement of the jittery hand where am i talking about i don't know but the point is i think i like or starting to love atar it's getting crazy out here kanaka will beat my ass but you know what i don't blame her i do not so if you were to put into a predicament where Konako and Atar were in the same room, and who would you go with? That's a hard ass decision. That's a hard ass decision. I think I would still pick Konako, mainly because she's been around longer, and again, Atar still in Konako's whole ass flow, but that doesn't make it less cute, right? It doesn't. And honestly, it just, it's just difficult. I really like Atar. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? And I didn't think this was gonna be, ever really be the case. Madaka, I'm sorry. You're going to the number two position. I'm kicking someone out the damn 20 uh, wipers that I actually like. I'm, I'm putting Madaka down to number, uh, at number two. Atari's going to have to stay tied with, you know, Kamika at number one. Oh my gosh. This, this is this is going to destroy me. And especially if Kamikatsu keep making episodes and she has screen time. And she's not going to be a forgotten character like a lot of harem shows do. If this is going to become a harem show. Which, please let this kind of become a harem show now. I'm not necessarily going to hold you. If Atari gets more screen time, oh yeah, she's going to stay in that number one position for a long ass time. Like, dead ass. I, I can't. I can't. It, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. But I just wanted to make a video real quick about Atar because she just perfect. She's, she's damn near good like Konako is. Koniko is still on that queen level. I don't think Atari is on queen level yet, but she's on. But she's on one. She's very, she's very close, you know. And at this point, I could, I could definitely, I can help in Kokatsu, I can even imagine freaking like both of them trying to clash with each other in some shape and form. I can imagine it now. I can, and it's so, it's so crazy. And I mean, obviously, in strength level, Atari could beat Konika, obviously, which kind of sucks. But honestly, it just how? How do I go about this? This is so weird. This is so weird. It's been a long time since I felt like this for another character. It's been a long time because with Atari too, when I first saw her on screen, I was intrigued. I was interested. I didn't like her off bat, but I was like. I'm intrigued to, to know more about this girl. Who is she? And when she did that whole fight with, you know, Mitama, which honestly was a dope ass fight, that made me like her even more because she's strong as shit. And then this whole episode and all that, it, it was just it just made this ten times better. And I like how I was saying with with the uh, Kamikatsu video, I was like, man, Mitama is actually like one of the more uniquely designed characters in modern anime I've seen in a while. Nah, skip that. Mitama who? Mitama, don't get me wrong, Mitama's fine. But Mitama who? I don't, no. Atari is where it's at. I need that. I need that. Asap! I need that expeditiously, 100%. So, honestly, if it hasn't been spelled out already, Atari's the best girl in the damn show. And I need a Kokatsu model of her ASAP right the hell now. I'm not playing. I don't know how to make her, honestly, because I think the the biggest problem will be like the horn coming out of her head and the design of her face on the left side. But everything else, I, I need I need that. I, I need I need that 100 percent 
I need that absolutely expeditiously. And don't get me wrong, I like Allura too. Like she's horny as hell. She's crazy. She's crazy, but she she good too. But she's like the second favorite so far. But definitely like Atari's top. She's like top pick. Honestly, I need that. I got that. I must have that. Like it's the old ass Tekken song that Snoop Dogg made a long time ago. I knock him down. I need that. Run it, homie. So that's what I kind of feel. Anyway, that's a bit for this video. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, like, and share my guys. Also, follow me on socials and like to do on this channel. Patreon is available as well. And until then, it's Boy J. Sound off. Have a say.